Ambush, because PP actually, not too bad to start the game with. Naval Doctrines, Army and State. Oh, you already get Army XP. Yeah, we're not going to send you that. Army and the State. You get the Reformed Stavka. For Ukraine, both one of the largest armies in the German sphere, it is plagued by organizational efficiencies, budget deficit, and other remnants of old imperial there, there. As well, loom of horizon, the army must be whipped into proper fighting force. Okay. I think we're ready. We're going with speed free in the beginning. I just want to hang. I want to talk to the chat. Uh, I want to call me, call me. And let's go, gentlemen. Welcome to the brand new update of Kaiser Reich, the best toy format in the world, Ukraine. Actually, speed four. Actually, speed four. Uh, what, are there field marshals? Oh, uh, Pavlo himself is the leader. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to wait with what politics I end up and then we see what kind of uh, nation and what army I'm building. Uh, the president of Russia has been killed. Yeah, he's, he, he got shot. The sent in the West. The Ukrainian state boasts the third largest economy in Middle Europa. Centered around its massive agricultural sector, rooted in Ukraine's fertile plains. Known far and wide as the breadbasket of the rice pack, they produce more grain than any other of their allies. This has been a double-edged sword, as interest industrialization has been slow due to the disinterest by landowning elite and relatively small urban middle class. Most of the Ukrainians work in agriculture, and those are lucky enough to not own land work on the land of others, often the rich landowners, who are central part of the headman support base. This inequality is especially pronounced in western Ukraine, the poorest part of the country. There has once again been campaigning there that agitates against the headman's regime and demands borderline socialist changes. So we have commies in the west that don't like the military dictatorship. Minus one stability. Is chat dead? Hello? I have zero viewers. Am I offline? The fuck? Zero viewers. Hello? Oh my god. Hello? Hello? Hal Hello? Hello? Oh, we're back. What the? Hello? Weird. Okay. German internet. The best. He's the best. You guys are back. Okay. Permanent into that, bro. I swear to God. <sighs> oh, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> you guys could see me? Kornilov takes Moscow. Lavr Kornilov, who really doesn't like Germany. We're here. We're gonna... We were gone for a while. Would have for a moment. Tractor Factory opened in Hanum... Uh, Tractor Factory opened by Hanomag AG. Today, the German construction automobile company Hanomag has opened a new tractor factory in Kiev. Nice, 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 nice. Eight? Eight? I have eight. You got some big Fs lately? I, in, in, this is ridiculous. German internet is... I, I can't even... There's a delay between audio and video. That's just you, mate. What the... Guys, what's going on? I'm, I'm streaming, right? It died again for you? Oh, man. What is going on with this internet, bro? Like, this is concerning, dude. The best German internet I have. You can't get better internet in this big-ass city. Was that nine? Strikes in Odessa. Uh, today in Odessa, workers at one of the many shipyards have laid down. Dicko, what will you do? Dicko, the boss will not call you, man. What's going on with you? Loudlos, ey. What's going on with you? Ruf mich doch nicht an. What is that in us? Uh, it's good now, but it died like five times in a row. <sighs> the problem with internet problems is, right, you can't do anything about it, man. You can't do anything about it, bro. <sighs> German internet. And you guys wonder why I swear so much. Uh, the workers at one of the many shipyards have laid down their tools and chained the entrances shut before listing off various demands, such as better pay less hours. Got them, communists! Uh, make some empty promises or send in the police. 
I'm gonna go with empty promises. Let's see what kind of path we go to. I have no idea. <clears throat> but now the stream is here. Yeah, it's not dying anymore. My I, I, German internet, man. It's it's a disgrace. It's a it's an utter disgrace. Mm. Did you hear Auburn is six years old now? Valerio, don't call me on my phone. Ultra weird, man. Don't do that. Uh, we have received information that Simon Petliura, the Finnish guy is in here now. One of the exiled USDRP leaders in Lvov. USDRP. USDRP. I don't even know who they are. Oh, they are communists? They're socialists. Oh, they want, like, worker rights. Uh, we'll be holding ready in Rovno. He has been living abroad ever since his party and anything left of it was banned and only visits the country occasionally out of the justified fear that our secret police might pay him a visit. It seems that the Western countryside has become more and more receiving to uh, the socialist promises of land and reform. His publications have been found widely in circulation even if the exact amount of his supporters is unknown. Attempts to get the Austrian officials to hinder his actions have proved to be vain, citing that peaceful political activism does not break any laws of the Habsburg Empire. Seeing that he's becoming more and more of a threat, what should we do? So there's a communist in the West making people mad. I, 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 I want to always do the decision that I will do if, if I would be Ukraine here, and I want to arrest him. Fuck worker rights. Oh, I said fuck again. I said it two times. What is that, 10? What a dumb idea. That's 10. I will never do that challenge again. Swear count. I, I, I really feel inside of me there's this, I want to swear so bad. It's it's like a big thing of my culture. I want to swear bad. I mean, swearing isn't bad. It's just I do it way too much. Why is counting swears? Because your English is so... Okay, so... <clears throat> Good, 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 good. Every swear is up. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Let's keep playing. And he evaded arrest. Oh, the police have failed to capture this uh, socialist dude. Okay, he evaded arrest. Not good. I swear almost every sentence. I like it too, but it's bad for advertisement, right? On YouTube and shit. 11. You keep counting, I'm doing the count later. 11. Total is chartered, the communists are going ham in the world. Independence Day! Tell me more about the Republicans. Ah, sorry. There's Independence Day. I got it. 11? Yeah, yeah, keep counting. 11. Oh, I just ate massive garlic sauce and now. <sighs> Woo! God damn. I'm very excited for Zombie tonight, man. I'm so in love with Zombie lately, man. Imagine the sensor would fail and we would hear the entire tantrum. Yeah, imagine. Remembering Kruti. Who is who's Kruti? Every nation has its myths. Collective memories built to foster a shared sense of history and identity. Such myths have been crafted at least since the advent of modern nationalism, and Ukraine is no exception to this. For Ukrainians, one of their most significant myths concerned the events of January 19, 29, and 1918. On this date, some 500 cadets defended the Kruti railway station, 150 kilometers away northwest of Kiev, against a vastly superior Bolshevik force. Around 100 defenders fell before the survivors were forced to withdraw, and their sacrifice delayed the Bolshevik advance on Kiev and allowed the People's Republic to conclude the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk before evacuating the city. The Battle of Kruti received little notice at the time, for Kiev was in chaos due to a simultaneous revolt at the city's arsenal. But when the Republic returned to the city in March, the battle's myth began to build. The remains of the Kiev defenders were ceremoniously reburied to oilogies from high-ranking politicians, and Skoropatsky established a command... Co co There's so many high-level English words in this. Whoever writes Kaiserreich is, is, has, has a big grammar stick up his... Bum. The monument to Krutia's fallen that has been erected at the site. However, remembrances of the battle has also been politicized to a degree. Thank you, Verbrandt. 
Uh, however, blah, 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 Hetman's figures, including Otaman Minister Doroshenko, sometimes view the battle as evidence of the Republic's incompetence, etc., etc. The battle is also a focal point of the fringe league of Ukrainian nationalists, from whom the event perfectly encapsulates their, their preferred narratives. That uh, Ukraine is the best. Tell me about the league. We may disagree on specifics, but we all remember what they did. I don't want to read all the lore, right? That's going too crazy for me. There's a lot of side lore. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Hoi 4 is about the, the game plan. The game plan. Tommy, use your influence for the Kaiser teams to update the Ausgleich, please. No one knows what you're talking about. Nobody in the world. And no one cares. <clears throat> Black Monday hit the Berlin Stock Exchange, but even worse, the Anglo-Afghani war is happening. Black Monday is going to hit Ukraine, and we're going down, boy. The Travailistes elected in France, which means the workers. Black Monday arrives in Ukraine. The headman will fix this. Minus 10 stability, 20 factory uh, goods, and not a 10 stability, and minus... Uh, we're, 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 we're effed. We're effed. I said effed. Did you see that? I said effed. We are not doing good. But that's Kaiser, right? You get Black Monday and you're kind of sad and then you fix your country. Shangqing Changgo declared. Governor Zhang Zhang Zhang, known throughout China as the dog meat general, is dead. Maybe he ate too much dog meat. Oh man, China looks perfect, man. That looks like the brain of a young man. Just a lot of weird shit going on. Yeah. Puffle looks like Anthony Hopkins. No, he doesn't? No, he doesn't. No, he no, he doesn't. No, 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 no. You, 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 you are very wrong. Twelve? I did twelve. It did. I did twelve. Okay, I did twelve. Twelve swear words. The Australian Empire withdraws from Italy. Uh, a peaceless to the brother agrarians. What? I genuinely feel like whoever is the writer for Kaiserreich, he is really stuck up high level English, man. Like he's, oh, I got quite nice English and I'm going to show these plebs. Sitting at the crossroads between Ukrainian politics and literature, today's talks and the publication of the late Vyacheslav Lipinski's magnum opus and political treatise, Epistles to the Brothers Agrarians, a fixture of the political scene for many years. Lipinski could not find the time between his activism and later battles with the tuberculosis to complete the book within his lifetime. Something he predicts himself in its foreword. In his life, Lipinski has seen by many as a man of contradictions, a Polish noble embracing the Ukrainian national struggle, a devout Catholic advocating for the exclusive spiritual role of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, and a UDKHP founder who came to reject the party he helped create. Epistles serves as an exploration of Lipinski's values. A vision of classocratic society. Classocratic. Where the most enlightened can guide Ukraine to its future without fear of the corrupting influence of liberal democracy and petty sectarianism. But while his heirs in the USKHD might cling to his words, they are unlikely to reverse the union's political fortunes to their own. Despite Lipinski's Despite Lipinski being a personal advisor to the Hetman, the USKHD never gained much traction. The USK... Who? I don't know who that is. UDKHP? No, KHD. Oh, it's my party. It's my party. Never gained much traction. It was driven largely by the zeal of Lipinski. Bah, bah, bah. He was a visionary? Oh, tell me more about them. So this is my party. Oh, look at all that lore. Oh my god. Oh god, this is me. The more you read, the less you curse. I feel like the less I read chat, the less I curse. Because you guys are straight up god damn. The USKHD began on the eve of the 1924 elections when Vyacheslav Lipinski, then still a leader, proposed a radical vision of the party. Oh, I'm not going to read that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Uh... Damn, is not a curse word. Play Kaiserreich, read more than a PhD candidate. This feels like uh, studying uh, history at, at, at university. It does. I can now handle uh, Black Monday. I can't. Black Monday hits Ukraine. That just happened? Okay, I can't uh, do anything with Black Monday yet. 
What do we have? Inspector of the Arsenals. Beware as our overall industrialization score increases, the armament facilities that can be gained increases while reducing the immediate bonus to industrialization score. Okay, I'm just going to take that in. Okay, I get uh, a bunch of equipment bonuses for uh, some years. Uh, I can build walls. I can make air or I get supply range. This is all not that interesting. I'd rather have just have the... Uh, to be honest, I think I want to get the PP bonus. Expansion of the Merchant Marine. And two dockyards. I'm upgrading the Odessa port. Give it six days, you'll be able to... Do Black Monday focus. Okay, okay. You get a mass event where you need to get a build to pass any different party support. Spoilers. Illusion of Ching shatters. Huge spoilers here. Save your PP. You're gonna have to cancel that event when the massive event happens. Thank you really helping me here. I totally understand. With the economic situation growing worse by the hour, and with no positive development in sight, it falls to the Soim, which is me, and the government to draft a comprehensive piece of legislation which will allow a major increase in government debt to stabilize prices, purchase up excess products, and to organize a great amount of emergency work to ease the financial plight of the people, thus restoring confidence. You guys understand that that is one sentence. Dude, I know you're watching whoever wrote this. I love Kaiserreich, I love what you're doing, but your sentences are too long. I, I always feels like you're trying to come across as ultra intellectual with your crazy big English sentences, but it's I don't know. I think if you would write this in university, the professor will be like, "Your sentences are too long. It's hard to follow." Like, what is that sentence, bro? No doubt, such an endeavor will require considerable effort from our divided legislature. The soil will be able to reach consensus to pass the bill and give Ukrainian parliamentarism a chance. You must secure the support of four out of five factions. Uh, an unanonymous decision will be even better to prove that the Soim is capable of putting aside the differences when needed to. So I probably want to stay. This is now, if I don't, if I want to play the communists, I need this to fail. But I'm going to try this. So I need to sway five, four parties. Oh. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The German teacher will say for Schachtelt. The so-called Hetman Coalition, a parliamentary alliance between UDKHP and USKHD, representatives of Vizvis and Profits, and a certain independent deputies, oh, Jesus, have struggled to maintain a veneer of political stability and unity since its inception of 1924, botched land reform, and stalled industrialization are just part of its legacy of factionalism and petty politics. Now, however, there seems to be a little room of error with the economic crisis and internal instability reaching heights unseen since 1918. The headman is growing more tired of the coalition's inefficiency by today. The opposition, as it has been the case since the creation of the SOIM, is represented by the URDP. For years, it has advocated for democratization, devolution, and progressive economic policies, while remaining cautious enough not to incur the wrath of the ruling regime. Their right wing, centered mainly around Serhii, Shalukin is relatively um, amicable towards the coalition and may be negotiated with, especially in these trying times. Thank you, Dova. Can anyone follow this? Finally, there's the SHD. Who is the SHD now? They're not even a party. Uh, the semi-secret clique of military officers, civil servants, and politicians is closely following development in the SOIM. Resenting parliamentarism and party politics of any kind, they will certainly try to influence the Hetman's decision-making if they feel threatened. Okay. Certain events and national focus will present opportunities for the player to influence support of the relief bill among the five main parliamentary factions. To pass the bill and give Ukraine parliament another chance, you must secure support of four factions. Failure to do so will more likely push Ukraine state in a more authoritarian direction. If you don't pass, you have to recover from your depression for 500 days. Okay, I need them on my side. And I can't do it because... Uh -huh. There's still a relief bill ongoing. I need to take focus this? Should I cancel this focus? Yeah, I should probably drop that. I need to do this fast. Drop the gold standard. 
all parties will have more support for my bill. So we're, we're going to support this bill. I don't want to like uh, voluntarily fuck up the bill. So I played the communist or something. I, just, I said fuck uh, the first time. The second time doesn't count. 14. You get events as you go along. 13, right? 13? 13. 13. Okay. Um, dropping the gold standard. Raises all the parties. You train this currency. The, the what? Hrivnias. Dude, I can name. Uh, you want to hear about a Ukrainian currency? There you go. Grubshin. Grubnin. Dude, I just made a Ukrainian currency. It's been tied to the gold standard for some time on the past. This provided some measure of economic stability, especially in warding off inflation. These are trying times, and Ukraine must follow other countries in their abandonment of the archaic practice, allowing us to inject some of much needed cash into the economy. For abandoning gold standard, they will all support me a bit more. Okay. Opposed, opposed, neutral, neutral, neutral. Okay, let's see what happens. Hrivina. Hrivina. You should have a bet on how many swears will we have by the end of the stream. Yeah, you go ahead and do that, man. Uh, I just made a new Ukrainian currency, the ruble. Central Rada seizes power in right to Terria. That, that's like here. Rada. What are these words? Who's uh, Rada Slau Astruski? And he is an Altarian Democrat. Okay. Democracy in Australasia. This game is crazy, man. New currency is going to be the Euro anyway. Nice. Nice. I got some Space Marines today, guys. Look, I got, I got myself today. I got myself, uh, uh, I got myself a Space Marine captain. Huh? Cool, huh? Cool, huh? Is that cool? I know it's cool. I know it's very really cool. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Uh, we dropped the gold standard. Dropping the gold standard. For some time now, the Hyenas have been tied to the gold standard as the base of currency. While in the past this afforded some degree of stability to our financial system, in the wake of Black Monday, it has quickly become a, the, the, the detriment. I'm learning so many English words from this guy. Thank you, Yura, my brother. Thank you, man. D detriment. Detriment? And the gold standard is now being widely abandoned around Europe as too inflexible to wreck to change realities of the economy. However, there is no... Dude, the Kaiserreich writers love the word however. If you ever play Kaiserreich, the word however... Drink every time you see the word however. <laughs> however, there is no consensus if we shall trust the markets and let them value the Hrigna, which is potentially volatile, but also offers great financial independence or tied to the German mark. I would like to do to myself... I, I, what well, my goal is going to be in this game to make an independent, strong uh, Ukraine that doesn't suck anyone's dick. <clears throat> Is me saying sucking dick a curse? I don't I don't think it is. A curse is defined by the YouTube algorithm. And I don't think if you say sucking dick, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to tie myself to the Germans. This will slightly raise support for the bill among these two parties. AI is taking your job. Check this out. I have... Come on. You're so behind the frame. Military power in Mexico. Implement austerity measures. If the relief will pass, the economy will recover a month job. faster. Check this out. I will try very hard to make the bill go through. You gain austerity measures. You get PP, you get stability, but I get, for one year, I get a lot of radicals. Due to the crisis of Black Monday, the government has decided to cut costs and increase taxation in an attempt to ensure the treasury doesn't go completely bankrupt. While this will relieve the burden on our finances, will harm our industrial capacity. capacity. Okay. Constitutional monarchy, a successful vote, a failed one. You can become a republic or remain head mante, and then you can become... Okay, you're just telling me random stuff. That doesn't really help me right now. I, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna play. How about we just play? The death of the Pope. Oswald Mosley is big bad. Big bad guy. Oswald, man. Ever, ever since I've seen him Peaky Blinders, man, uh, he, he gives me a smelly. Oswald Mosley has always been a guy where I feel like he never fully wipes his ass. You know these people that you... There's these people you meet. And you're like, bro, you probably still have a bit of poop on your ass. That's like Oswald Mosley to me. I, I don't know. The USKHD suggests creation of a temporary class council in the Soim. Why are you question marking me? What? Experiments with direct class representation and politics always were part of the USKHD's agenda. Arguing that only representatives of the producing classes have the necessary skills, experience and education to guide political and economic development of the nation. A group of USKHD deputies headed by Mikola Koshube have suggested to create a special council compromise from delegates chosen by state unions, farmers, and corporate. Okay, they want to give more voices to lower level people in society. The proposal was met with the fierce criticism from the rich people, 
<clears throat> which claims that the institutions supposedly designed to alleviate class conflicts will only exacerbate them with representatives of big landowners, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Uh, I see a lot of raising here. I like that. I like raising. I'm a big fan of raising. The URDP gets a bit mad, but everyone else is raised. I guess I like that. Let's convince others. Okay. Oh, they now oppose me again? Uh, I can click this now. Oh, I need to balance this. If I click this, I lower URDP, but I make yellow go up. We could go massively against the URDP, which I think is the elite and the rich people. And we try to get these four. I only need four, right? I'm doing that. I'm trying to make yellow positive. I, I could really fuck this up. I'm gonna try. Yeah, you see? I make everybody high except the deputies. I'm going against the orange faction. I, I, like, I'm messing them up. URDP is social democrats. Ugh! That's even worse than elites. They like the SPD. Oh! They're gonna sell my country to Russia! The first international congress. These communists, man. These communists. There's a lot of demilitarization going on in white Russia, man. What's going on there? You can't please everyone? Yeah, they gotta balance it. I need four, though. It's obviously possible to do that, right? We have elections soon. Troubles with the class council. As was predicted by many, the practical implementation of the recent USKHD proposal has met several obstacles. Questions of quotas of for representation, lack of engagement between local class and organizations, and centralized... Blah, 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 I lose Ruffer Shot, I lose BP, and I get social liberalism. Okay. And we have a new pope. The 12th Pius. Okay. Yellow is the elite and the capitalists. Okay. Okay. Let's see where we go, man. Let's see what we're doing here. <sighs> Yellow is the ones that want close to relations with Germany for business and money. Okay. A famine in Sinchuan. Uh, it is true that the highly centralized bureaucracy of the Ukraine state is sluggishly in its response of the economic crisis. To alleviate this issue, deputies from several factions of the SOIM have suggested empowering local authorities in the most hard-headed regions. Additionally, they plan to create special offices for every major Ukrainian region tasked with coordinating immediate responses to the economic crisis. While this initiative has significant support in the SOIM, especially among independents associated with the Crimean deputy Asan Sabri Ayvazov, there are rumors of several high-ranking members of the SHD reaching out to the headman and his close circle over the matter. Apparently, the secretive clique fears that delegating too much power to the region suffering from unrest will only embolden local insurgency. What are we gonna do? Uh, I see a lot of raising here. I see a lot of raising. Who needs political power, man? I'm gonna raise, raise, raise. There we go, come on. I only have 96 days left. Behind closed doors. Proceed with caution. It turns out that the rumors of SHD meddling weren't entirely unfounded. General Poltavets Ostriantasia has been visiting the Hetman's private residence several times in the span of just a few days. Colonel Homzin was reported meeting with high-ranking bureaucrats from the ministries of interior and finance. While it is unknown if those meetings have borne any fruit, it is nonetheless a very worrying sign and many members of the storm alarmed about developments. Proceed with caution. I, what is even happening, bro? What is even happening? You missed Liberia's end? Well, then watch the VOD, bro. What are you doing? Okay, I, I did that thing. How does it look now? Okay, I have three parties. That's good, right? S mm. I want to go anti- I want to have a strong Ukraine. So I'm supporting domestic companies. I'm not supporting Germany. If the relief passes, you grow faster. Nah, we're going to do our own thing. If the relief will pass, the economy will recover a month faster. Oh, there you go. And I get plus with everyone. And five stability. We should first and foremost look after domestic companies. Ukraine first. They might not have the capital of the German staff, but they employ a far greater amount of people whose livelihood are at risk. Ukraine first. Oh, whoa, whoa. Birth of the all Ukrainian democratic movement. Bunch of Democrats. Oof. 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 Oh, man. I slept like nine hours and I'm... Dude, every time I sleep long, I'm tired and if i sleep seven hours i'm great where's the librarian vid at in the vods of twitch are you a little bit are you a little bit come on swing song you got this you can probably count to 10 so you can do this too if you tried no in this month no archduke wilhelm speak us out oh. 
during the central powers occupation of Ukraine in 1970. Upstart Ukrainophile. Wait, he's a Ukrainophile? Piece of... Who are you? The Archduke. Is he a son or something? I don't know who that is. I think he's a son. During the central powers occupation of Ukraine, an upstart Ukrainophile, Archduke from Austria, let his... Zik Rifleman, deep into Ukrainian territory, installed himself as the Vasil Vishanini, king of Ukraine. Supported by Emperor Karl I, the boy of 22 mm, was to become the ruler of Austrian-backed Ukrainian monarchy. <sighs> Mingling with the peasants, he became very popular for his ability to live much like them and his lenient governorship of territories on his command. Fortunately for us, any Austrian plan for Ukrainian monarchy collapsed in 1919 with the consolidation of the German-backed Hetmanat. Archduke Wilhelm fled back to Galicia. He's a Galician. But now the pretender has shown his face at a rally in Proskorov, speaking alongside the Simon Petliura, calling for resistance against the German puppet headman. A rich dude of Galicia is in Ukraine telling people he should be king. Imagine a random foreigner comes to your country and tells you, oh, let me let me be king. Let me just do it. It's a bit like Putin, huh? That's not gonna go well. Is it? Why is it not modern day? <sighs> okay, we're pushing the bill. I need four parties to, to work with me, man. Four parties. So I'm, I'm going to try to push the bill. I'm not going to like go comments or anything. I'm just going to follow what the game wants me to do. Let's see what happens. Military dictatorship? I like it. URDP proposes temporary nationalization of banks. Mm. Now I gotta think. I'm gonna push them all up. I'm against orange and for the rest. Yeah, this makes orange mad, which I like. We will be lucky if the banks do not crash. Our financial system can weather the storm. Oh, I'm playing a risk. I'm hoping that the banks don't crash. Okay. So I'm going against... I just want four. I want four parties to be for my bill. And I'm going against orange. We have an F again. Oh, it's, about, it's with this German internet, man! And I'm not supposed to swear. What is this German internet, man? What is happening? Uh, hey, dude. This is so weird. Even if you look at my bitrate, there's no crash in it. Which is not true. My god, a German internet. It's... Bro, am I doing something wrong? Like, what is going on, man? I have the same problems in NRV. Hey, German internet is not... It's not even a joke how bad it is. It's not even a joke, bro. The day of the Hetmanate, which is this guy. The Ukrainian state is inexorably tied to the institution of the Hetmanate. In many ways, Pavlo Skoropatsky has been the driving force behind the state since its inception. Although the Ottoman ministers have led the state's government since the end of the Great War, the Hetman alone has the right to nominate them and thus determine the government's character. By design, the headman is seen by his supporters as the guarantor of the state and society and a bulwark against radical politics. After all, the state was founded with the support of land-earning interests in the German military and wasted no time in reverting Republican social reforms. As Ukraine's Independence Day has re Republican connotations, the government and its supporters instead prefer April 29th, the anniversary of Skoropatsky's election as headman, as the primary national holiday. He's kind of becoming a big dictator, huh? A military parade is traditionally held in Kiev to celebrate, followed by a public address by the hetman praising the state's achievements within the last year. The great Cossack Rada and local Cossack councils will often organize their own events, even including their own militia parades. Many formal April 29th functions have been noted to have strong military and permanent character to them, perhaps a reflection of where the state's support comes from. Beyond these jingoistic displays, conservative politicians often make other gestures. 
Ottoman Minister Doroshenko opted to make a statement applauding the work his government has done and expressing hope that the hetman will be seen as a symbol for all Ukrainians. The democratic agrarians have also hosted their own April 29th celebration, heavily attended by both the party leaders and their aspirants. The Protofis industrial lobby and the Union of Landowners have each also offered the hetman their congratulations, etc., etc., etc. Okay, everybody loves this guy. He's like the king of Thailand. He's very beloved. Um, I think I have four parties. No, I need to make the independents happy somehow. This makes the independents happy. I should do this. Export, sub export subsidies. I'm getting increased borrowing, but for one year I get a lot of stability. I make the blue party positive. The rules of Middle Europa forbid unelaterated tariff increases, but they do not forbid state subsidies. Dude, 80% of the law of this month? I don't understand. Like, I'm too dumb for it. This is like a goddamn history class. Like, what is happening? Subsidies and, and, and Ukrainophile anthropologists that study Karl Marx while reading books from Ernest Hemingway. Dude. I'm going to say something really evil, and I'm going to be a big asshole. Dude, whoever writes this stuff probably thinks he's ultra-intelligent. But then he drinks, like, 50-cent iced tea out of a fucking wine glass or something. Just a joke. Just a joke. I love you. Developer, you're doing a great job. I love you. This is German to me. The long as words confuse me. You summarized it well. <laughs> Steve Fire, are you the deaf? No, you're just a... Who are you? You're talking like you're the deaf? Anshin click down. Question of stockpiled grain. Um, with the prices for agricultural goods lowering almost by the day, we have economic similar amounts of unsold grain in our stockpiles. Representatives of the Vzvis and Profovrid suggest to keep selling the grain even at these unfavorable prices. Should we keep selling? Um, depends on how I want to support. I want to always fuck up the orange guys. Yeah, here. We get a new wave of protests. Ooh. Ooh. I just need the blues now. If I get the blues, it's over. Let's go. Is this cursor title just a joke or real? Uh, what do you think? If you open your eyes for two seconds and you look at this, you might come to the conclusion. Honestly, to native English speakers, the event text isn't that high level. It's formal, but it isn't too much. Yeah, but do you know that less than 10% of the world speaks English? Okay. Tommy, would you go to a wedding or to a graduation, which would be more fun in your opinion, emo wedding? Why are you asking me? What? Would you rather go to a wedding or a graduation? <sighs> Prince Sabahatin appointed the Grand Vizier of Ottoman Empire. 60% of the world's population speaks English, not less than 10%. K15, but the percentage is uh, less than 10. Look, when Mr. Beast said today, I was watching the Mr. Beast podcast on Joe Rogan on the highway, and Mr. Beast doesn't lie, okay? Mr. Beast knows more than you. Are you a billionaire? No. Let's be quiet. Mr. Beast. Sway the deputies. Oh, I can't. I need 60. I, I, I wonder what happens when I push the bill through. I was watching a lot of Joe Rogan today. I was watching two podcasts. It was really fun. I was watching Mr. Beast. And then I was watching one where he talked to this guy about the end of Western civilization. And it was very... They were so right. They talked about... You know, this guy. Oh, uh, man. Uh, can I see it? This is what I was watching on the highway. Uh, look at what this Tommy is watching on the highway. Yeah, I was watching this stuff. Tim Dillon. They talk about the end of the Western world. I was watching Andrew Tate today. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff I was watching on the highway. Nuclear power and shit. And yeah, they're talking about the end of the world. And it's so funny, man. It, it's so true. I'm not going to watch it right now. But uh, yeah, it's such a good clip. They talk about the end of America and how everything is just dying and the world is over. Everybody knows the world is totally fucked. But everybody also knows they can't do anything about it. America is falling apart. It's probably also planned that it's falling apart. 
I don't think it's true that Mr. Beast turned down his channel for one billion. That is not true. He valued his channel at a billion. I, I, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's in the podcast, but I didn't see. Is Blue with me now? So, the bill will pass. The bill will pass. I could even sway them a bit. The bill will pass. Look at that. Creation of state corporations. Get a sif. Hmm. I get one sif, five stability, but I lower the independence. No, I lower the the red, the, the yellow guys. But this one just raises everything. That's good. Remove Preussisch Ostbahn. We're making our own railways and we're removing the German railways. So I should easily push the bill through now. If you don't push the bill through, you get like different ways of the country. You get like communism, democracy. But I want to keep playing him, I guess. Budget reserves. <clears throat> Sorry for our capitalist overlords. Thank you, loose cash. Thank you, dude. Do you watch motorsport? I'm not a 50-year-old board boomer. Does listening to us to be help you with content? Good question, man. Good question. So I was watching the podcast and they talked about how Mr. Beast made his channel and how he grew. And uh, to get the core of Mr. Beast's message, why he became the biggest YouTuber ever, he pretty much just said it was hyper obsession. When Mr. Beast was 13 years old, 11 years old, he started his YouTube channel. And since then, he has been hyper obsessed about his YouTube channel. He didn't go to school. He hated college. He just wanted to do YouTube videos. And he spent all day long with his friends on studying YouTube. He studied it, right? And that is what you can learn from Mr. Beast. That if you have a hyper obsession, not everybody has that. But if you're hyper obsessed about something, you should turn it into a business. Because you're going to put your whole life into it anyway. Some people don't have that. And I was thinking about me. And I, I don't think I'm hyper obsessed about Twitch. I'm, hi I'm hyper obsessed about my job. I, I love being a streamer. I love streaming every day. But the difference between me and Mr. Beast is, which is also why Mr. Beast is much more successful than me, is that what Mr. Beast does is he has this data character going on. He always studies Twitch, uh, uh, YouTube, sorry. He studies how do thumbnails work? What thumbnails are the best? What titles are the best? What kind of content is doing well? He always studies what's going on. Like I, I just turn on my stream and I stream, right? If Mr. Beast will be in my position, he will probably check out Twitch. What is meta right now? Okay, play Among Us, reaction streams. What brings the most views? That is the difference. That is the big difference. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay not being Mr. Beast style. I'd rather just stream like this. If I, don't, if I never have 10k viewers, whatever. I can survive. But that's what I learned today from the Mr. Beast stuff. Uh, it's a very cool thing in life that if you, if you at home, if you have a hyper obsession, you should follow that, man. You should try something. Joe Rogan even said this beautiful thing in the podcast where he says, school systems are so overdone. You go to school, uh, uh, nobody listens. The, the, the teachers, they don't want to be there. They're underpaid. You learn a, sh a lot of stuff that you never need in your life. And we still have this narrative nowadays that you have to finish school perfectly or you're, you're, you're effed up. But yeah, it's not really true anymore. More and more people can make a great life without, without being that good at school, right? You, there's now opportunities to create jobs, on the side, man, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My math teacher told me that by study, students remember around one ten of what was on the lesson. Just today, I walked uh, around the law campus where I studied law for ten years with my friend Tony, who also studied law for ten years, and we just looked at each other and we're like, Bro, I remember nothing from law school. I remember nothing of 10 years of law school. You know why? Because I didn't care about it. I was obsessed about it. You know, obsession is a very important thing if you want to be something special in life. I work as a teacher. I love it. Most students appreciate and can tell from teachers who want to be there versus those who don't. Uh, last weekend, Lisa's younger brother was here. He's 13 years old. And we talked about school. And it was very interesting to me how when he talked about school and what he's learning, he, in his narrative, he always talked about this teacher sucks and this teacher is great. He will do that a lot. I like maths because the teacher is really good. I don't like physics. The teacher is crazy. It seems like these young people, which makes sense. We had the same. You have the same. You connect fun in a subject with how good the teacher is, right? And not every teacher can be perfect, right? Anyway, nice little X course. Budget reserves. With most revenue sources for the state drying up and with no signs of improvement in the near future, some deputies are pondering their possibility options. The URDP suggests implementing an emergency. It's probably just choosing who I want to support. Um, I'm going to slightly lower the yellows, which are not mad at me for that. Good. 
The balance looks good. So I'm going to stay military dictatorship. We're getting some protests. The independents are getting mad at me. That's bad. I can't lose them. We're getting protests. Okay. Careful. But they didn't flip. I'm still getting the bill in 38 days. So it looks like I'm staying with the military dictatorship, which kind of also means I'm staying pro-German. I, I don't know. Let's just... I don't want to sit here and like, oh, we should really make this pre-German path. We're going to see what happens, man. We're just going to go long. That's why I like Kaiserreich, man. You got to go long. Uh, can I get... No, I can't. I need the army XP guy, obviously. But PP is hard to come by right now. <clears throat> also, you don't use your knowledge anymore, so it's normal that you forget about it. Yeah. Meeting at the residence. Oh, I get mad lowered. It is not known what in particular had spurred this invitation, but leaders of all Soim parliamentary factions were invited to the Hetman's private residence several days ago. The details of the meeting are kept secret, but judging by the reaction of the URDP headquarters, one can assume that Skoropatsky has tried to influence ongoing negotiations regarding the relief bill. Why would he do that? I already have them all. I'm already doing great, and now he's fucking it up. As of now, this intervention has seemed to produce an effect opposite to desirable. Oh, this, this dude. The ULDP deputies are furious, and even some independents or more democratically inclined members of the UDKHP have withdrawn their support. I was doing fine, and now he effed it up, bro. We're still green, though. We're still green. I'm still passing. Don't you flip right before. What are the new Caucasus countries? Uh, what? You have a focus on a stable increase in military experience. I have that. I took that. I have that. Okay, let's see where we go. Unione Sindicalista achieves Italiano majority. Um, general strike has been called. Ah. Okay, I'm getting debuffed a lot. The VDR has declared a general strike across the industrial centers of Ukraine. I still have my bill. I just want to push my bill through. I think that's how I fix the country, right? I could stock uh, uh, some orange stick to make sure there's no problem. Okay, I did all of this. A lot of interesting stuff is about to happen. Um, I would like to take to Odessa port because of the PP income. Tommy can't read. Transport workers join the strike. Look, I can read. Left click, 10 minute ban. How dare you say that? The Joe Rogan experience. We should. I I I I love that video today, man. I loved it. Uh, trend, we can watch it in a sec. We take a little break and watch the video. I I love that video today. But I, I, I don't like watching videos like this on stream because I will not comment. I will just watch it for 30 minutes and I don't comment anything. So it's not that good. No, we're not doing that. Uh, Railroad workers and dock workers units have joined the general strike. Remove strong Hungarian exports. I don't have exports anymore. Oof. Okay, the country is a mess. It's really, really effed up. And uh, yeah, let's really push that bill through, please. Ha. Uh -huh. Are you going to try the Cindy Ukrainian path too? I don't even know what... I've, I don't even know what that means, bro. How do you already know these paths? I have no idea. State-supported profession... I want to make orange mat, which is this one. Good. I think I'm balancing it well. Negotiations with the strikers. Stability looking amazing. It's like I'm a 12-year-old boy. Uh, fighting a shadow. The game is kind of telling me about all the paths I can take in a weird way. These guys are like socialist revolutionaries. But yeah, I'm going with the dictatorship. Have it play in the background? No. Would you say uh, JRE is controlled opposition? I don't know what that means. What? I don't even know what that means, man. So the intellectual doomers barking? It's just fun. It's just fun what they say. And I agree with that. Western society is on a full decline, man. The American Empire is slowly crumbling, man. And they don't have many decades left. I read the post from the devs. That's how low the Cynicalist path is ultra hard, apparently. Okay, let's stay like this for now, and then we see. We will see, man. At uh, 500,000 YouTube subs, I I'm going to apply the Cynicalist 3. Don't look into the reasons, though. No, they kind of do that in that video. They they do. It's not crumbling. Stop doing reason. We're watching the video. We're watching the video. We're watching the video. We're taking a break. Let's go back. Okay, let's fix Ukraine. Ah, uh, Marconi, you have fun editing this, huh, Marconi? What's your opinion, Marconi? Vote on... Oh, I passed the bill. That's what I wanted to do. The time has come after months of horse trading. Please, threats and compromise. We are finally here. The Soim Financial Committee has approved my bill. And it is ready to be presented for voting. It is entirely possible that this day may decide the course of the entire crisis plaguing our nation. Now we can only wait for the results. I have a question. 
What I love most in Hoi Forest, you play a nation that later turns into a bigger nation and gets a new focus tree. And I remember that basic Kaiserreich, not Redux, doesn't often have that. Does anyone know in chat if Ukraine has that, turning into something bigger? I would think, no. Kaiserreich often doesn't do that. They often don't do that. Thank you, Hawk, my brother. Thank you, man. It doesn't have that? Yeah. Kaiserreich often doesn't do that. It's more like Redux that does that. So I remove Black Monday. I recover from Black Monday for 410 days. 10 stability and a lot of PP instability. So we fix that. Good. And now I can like play for real. This should go away now, right? Okay, it should go away in a second. Construcciones. Construction bereit. But what do we own? I can just check here. We're owning only steel pretty much. A bit of fuel. Ah, the fuel isn't bad. We don't own that much. I don't think excavation would hit very well here. Well, one thing um, I want to really work on more in my single-player games is, is Space Marines. Making armor mixed with infantry, but still, I still have to rush this line of industry. But we're going to do another um, tank infantry build on small nations. The trees you start with are so good and already give you good death. Yeah, yeah I, just, I was just wondering. Yeah. So I got the Odessa port, which is a nice bonus. Did I unlock new stuff? No, so Black Monday is done. Apparently, there's a lot of stuff going to happen soon, apparently, huh? Okay. Um... Um... Beware as our overall industrializational score increases. My industrialization goes up. The armament facilities that can be gained increase while reducing... Oh, I think the focus is saying the more industrialized I am, the more mills this focus gives me later. Or something. I get improved reconnaissance. Improves the rewards of the national focus integration of the Cossack councils. So I should totally run uh, uh, reconnaissance, which I'm gonna do anyway. Again, you put one mill on scout cars and you have the whole game. Oh, I, oh man, the bar 35. I don't have the mill, but I should do that. Yeah, 100%. I'm a huge fan of that. One mill for scout cars, why not? Um, not that good. I don't build that much. Enabled semi-motorized cavalry. Armored, okay. Improves the rewards of integration of Cossacks. Um, some people just can't be safe. They can't separate the idea. I mean, that's why I wanted to disagree with the Andrew Tate clip today. Where Andrew Tate said, A lot of people in this world are so far gone, you can't save them anymore. They have no opinions anymore. They're just the product of what the media tells them to. And I kind of would like to rebel against that. I think if we give up on that, then the world is actually doomed. If we do not try to save far gone people, then society lost. Uh, let's make a good example real quick. Uh, the good old Christmas table example. It's Christmas, and your family is sitting on the table. And your uncle is sitting there. I don't you know, these Ukrainians, they deserve it. Russia was right all along, and these goddamn refugees. Man, Donald Trump would have saved us all. But you should... Now, there's... In this scenario, do you just shut your mouth and be like, Uncle is drunk, let him fucking die in 20 years, who cares about him? Or do you say something? And I... Thank you, random guy from the hood. And I gotta say that uh, something Lisa has taught me in life... 26? 26. Uh, I was always the guy who shut his mouth and would be quiet. And Lisa uh, Lisa did a thing with which I, I respected her so much. There was two things Lisa did. Uh, Lisa's dad is a bit conservative. And he's like, the world is doomed. We're all dead anyway. I'm never going to vote for the Greens. And I remember it was like around Christmas. We were with the family. And Lisa and her dad had a very heated discussion, man. The dad was like, and she, the dad is great. Lisa is a cool dad. He's a very cool guy, man. But he's very old school, man, and 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 isn't open for new things like a boomer. And he was like, yeah, "I'm voting CDU because." Yeah. And Lisa, and Lisa was emotional, a bit overwhelmed. She was crying, and she was like, "Dad, I'm explaining to you." And she would like state facts. The CDU was bad because of this, 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 this facts. And what she did is she flipped the dad. She she made the dad not vote for CDU. Not a great example, uh, a, a crazy example. I will never forget that day. I got a lot of respect for Lisa, man. That was crazy. That day was crazy. So, like, two or three years ago, um, me, Lisa, and her mom are driving to a little village. Because Lisa's mom has a friend there, and this friend is going to give us game. She's giving us meat. Her, her husband is a hunter who's uh, shooting meat. And we visited them for uh, to gain meat. <laughs> he then voted AFD. <laughs> yeah, Lisa is a bit of a Nazi, you know? And um, so we are in the middle of nowhere. Bumfuck village, you know? And there's this woman and her husband. And they have like, a, a, they, they have like, they're like in GTA, bro. They have like this farm and they like sell donkey rides, but nobody ever comes in. It's really weird. So we're sitting on the table and we're eating. They invite us to eat. And as it happened during Corona, there was a big Corona discussion. You guys probably also had it with your parents, right? 
And these two people, these people we, we met, they were crazy, man. They were like, she, she literally said, I remember, the woman literally said, uh, Corona is good because it weeds out all the weak people, right? She, she fucking meant and said that. These guys are ultra crazy. And, and the, the husband was insane. He would always, I remember, he would always do this. He would always be like, the government is controlling Corona to kill us, right? And, and I was like, yeah, let them fucking say what they want, man. I don't give a hell. I don't give a damn, right? I was like, bro, I'm just leaving here. You guys can just do it. But Lisa, she spoke up. She was like, let's talk about this. Let's talk. And once again, Lisa isn't the, the greatest public spirit. And she once again, she cried in front of these strangers, right? But she stood up and she was like, look, this is the fucking facts. This is the statistics. How dare you say this? And she stood up to these people, man, right? It was a very weird mood after that. But I was so proud of her. And I personally believe if I, as an influencer, can ever influence, like, a young guy watching, if there's only one guy and 1K viewers, I think you should step up to this wrong stuff. You should... If someone says stuff like this, you, you, you try to be educated, you try to know your sources, you try to know how to debate this person with facts and logic and sources, and you fight this shit a bit. Very often, you probably won't get anything done. But once again, if we stop doing this, then we might just give up. We, we can just give up. We might as well just build, raise our walls and get ready for World War Three, man. Um, what should I go with? I go for the mill, huh? Actually, this one leads to more. Let's get this. I get really good railways. A unified logistical structure is the lifeblood of any army defending a country as large as Ukraine. All trains used by the army will be organized by a single department now. Okay. Maybe next time you shall cry when debating chat. Might win then. Don't make fun of Lisa's crying. Come on, man. <clears throat> and you know you are correct. Uh, Sam C, sometimes you don't, but often in life there's a thing called facts and data. There's statistics, for example, right? There's proof of things, you know? If your uncle says one plus one is free, there's certain proof that that is just not true, you know? Oftentimes in this chat there's people, but what is the truth? There's no truth. That's not how it works. That's, there often is data and proof, man. As the nation becomes ever more polarized in a wash of political violence, Hetman... Oh, I'm making a speech. has directly addressed the Soim in a speech. The Soim is my government. In it, he praised the Soim's ability to set aside political differences for the good of the nation, as demonstrated by the recent passing of the relief bill. The Hetman has then urged the Soim to continue its current course and deal with the ongoing protests. So I'm playing a military dictatorship now. While the headman's trust in the Soim is appreciated, many feel his words contain a veiled threat. If the Soim fails to resolve the current crisis, the headman will turn into a more direct means of the Soim. Okay. This is uh, Kaiserreich. New update, Ukraine. Hmm. Can facts and truth be twisted though? 100%, yeah. yeah. And then you have to dig for what the truth is. That's what you need to do. But if you go on fucking Reddit all day and you're like, wait, this guy says global warming isn't real. That's not very good research. That's, that's not how that works, right? This one dude on YouTube says it isn't real, man. Check him out, guys. I played the left coin tongue. I think so. What's your opinion about the leaked voice line of Zelensky wanting to blow up the friendship pipeline? Uh, I know nothing about that. You can send it to me. We can talk about it later. Instead, you go on YouTube and Twitter. Exactly. And you go to Tommy K and you can learn everything here. Severity of... Okay, my protests are getting pretty bad now. Dude, I, I have a relief bill. Why are people still mad? People are always mad. They probably just listen to Tommy K and Tate stuff. God damn, stop being mad, people. Um, early mope is 115. Send it to me in Discord, man. Uh, if you can get the state serves the military in your officer corps, it helps you. You need really the PP. State serves the military. 10% PP into 69? I don't know. I'd rather have army XP. Actually, in Kaiserreich, you only get 5% XP gain, but you don't get a flat out XP gain. So, professional officer corps, not that good here. Hmm. <clears throat> Old trusting voices in the age of AI. Benz, he destroyed you, man. You're done. There's a leaked voice time where he asked Biden to bump 5 million children. <laughs> Negotiations with the URDP. A peaceful solution is be possible. We're fixing the country. And I think the gameplay is I stay with Germany and I fight Russia. I think that's the gameplay. I think so. Between Bulgaria and the constitutionalists. The Chinese are all killing each other. Zhang is driven from Jinan. Dynasty Warriors 4. <clears throat> I'm not a person to ask people's opinion on political things over the internet, but what is your opinion on the USA Space Force? I know nothing about that. I have no idea what that is. Conflict within the coalition. Let's strike with... The, uh, Doroshenko's optimistic plans have not been received well by the right-wing bodies Homizin. 
accused the Ottoman minister of worsening the crisis by not actively decisively. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm gonna find a peaceful solution. I, I can't really follow this, man. There's this is like ultra hardcore deep state politics, bro. I just want to build some divisions and fight people. Invitation from the VDR. Having received a green light from the headman, Ottoman minister Doroshenko has proposed the opening of negotiations with the VDR leadership. The VDR is once again... I forgot. The VDR is the... I have no idea. Uh, with messages being relayed through the head of the URDP faction in the Soim, Andriy no no Nikovsky, it's the Republicans and Simon Petilura specifically agree there might be a peaceful end to this protest. Okay. Now, Tony, why are you not playing a World of Warcraft right now? Get to Pyrewood Ward and play with us. I feel bad for you Western people that you don't know memes about Zelensky and Biden bombs. Yeah, I feel very about it. I feel very bad about that too. They refuse and we have more con okay. They don't want to stop the strikes. Just kill them all? I'm a military dictatorship. Germany's Asia has the Indochina war. The Viet Kang. The Viet Kang. Nguyen Anin. Anin. He's going heavy. He's going heavy. Protests turn into riots. Hey, what the fuck? I fixed the economy. With the announcement that the negotiations have collapsed, sporadic protests in the capital quickly turned into violent rioting. And soon enough, Kiev was an anarchy. Clashes with the police escalated into protests organizing into workers' guards and even taking control of many factories around the city, using them as makeshift fortresses against the military. The Western countryside is even worse, as it has quickly turned into the video. I'm gonna have a civil war, bro. The propaganda blames the headman for ending negotiations and have declared that if Skoropatsky does do not wish to listen to people, he will listen to their rifles. Oh shit, I thought I fixed everything. What are your thoughts on the all cops are bastard movements? Oh, you did Kappa, otherwise I would have answered that. I mean, once again, I'm a, how, how could you think abolishing the police is good? You know, that's like, you know, right? Please get your food, Tommy. Okay, Lisa says I should get my food. I'm one, I'm ready to go. I need to go. Lisa said I need to get my food. Where do, how do I turn off here? Okay, I need to get my food. Will you watch UK later? We have actually a lot of time today. We can watch the UK video, yeah. Yeah. What's up, college? I love you, college. German. Ah. Tell me you watch Geography now, UK off stream. Sorry, guys. How do you know? Yo, look at what we have today. We got the organic sausages, because I'm a fucking lip tart. We got the green asparagus. We got the zucchini. And we got the mashed potato, bro. Look at that, man. Mmm. Oh shit, eating on stream. Let's go. Good content. A massacre in Kiev. Oh, oh, I'm trying to eat, man. When things seemingly couldn't get any worse today, the streets of Kiev ran red with blood. In <sighs> Kresh Shatik Square, long a hub for political rallies, workers and peasants took this to strike and demanded release of political prisoners and to arbitrary arrests and for the headman to accept VDR's social political program. The police attempted to disperse the protest, but after a shot was fired, uh, it is not sure if the shooter was a policeman or a protester. Chaos broke out. This reminds me of another Joe Rogan podcast I saw today. Dude, did you guys notice there's like this book called Chaos? Controlled Chaos. Did you guys know it? it's a proof? The CIA and FBI and all around the world, there's this tactic. You never think about it if you don't know. 
whenever a country has riots and 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 uprisings what they do is they infiltrate these uprisings with like the fbi and cia and then these infiltrators that are part of the riots they escalate the riots like they make them uh, more violent they throw stones or shoot or stuff so then the government has a reason to disperse the riot and go uh, violent against them it's fucking genius right i never thought about that that is so genius man so yeah dude what i have to do right now is i have to infiltrate this movement and just i mean they became violent themselves maybe it was one of my people oh oh while the full situation has yet to become clear opposing political organizations have declared the headman and his government to be murderers oh uh, do i have a civil war coming Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just eat some sausage. Uh, as you guys know, I'm having a full stream today. We're not having a break. And we're going to watch the UK video in a sec. Yeah. Let me just... Mm. 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 I'm going to say something ultra-privileged, which will totally disconnect you from the streamer. But, bro, when you eat meat, you got to eat organic meat, bro. It's so much better. Asshole streamer. Mm. Zomboid today? Dude, I love Zomboid. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Zomboid. I'm in love with Zomboid, man. My favorite content. Mm. <clears throat> Organic meat is a lie, totally. No, it's not. Yeah, biological meat. Am I using the right English here? Organic meat? Well, meat that is made on a nice farm where the cow has a good life and stuff. That's called organic meat, right? No, what? Oh, do, am I doing that wrong? What's the right English? Free range meat? Biological meat. No, it's called organic. No. Yeah. yeah, organic. Yeah, I'm not fucking this up. The English term is organic meat. Meat that had a good life. Yeah, I love organic meat, bro. It's too expensive, unfortunately, right? We no longer have general strikes. Oh, well, there you go. Easy, fixed it. <laughs> Say I did the same thing in 93 Iranian coup. They used Nazi party to create chaos. Yeah, they... Yeah. It's clever, right? It kind of means you can never really write against the government anymore. Because they will always infiltrate it. Uh, one sec. I'm sorry I'm eating this, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The entire country is mad at the Kiev massacre. Somewhat reluctant. The URDP has gone... You know... Maybe I'm just fucking stupid. But... Um, my problem with Kaiser something It's too complex. I probably am just too dumb. Dude, you have all these parties... The UKP has done a coup against the USB USDRP while the UDKHP has infiltrated the ASD with a leader of the LON killing a URDP member, which leads to a civil war between you and the Protofist. I'm like, what? Dude, what is going on, bro? What are you not talking about, man? The URDP has gone into opposition to our government. What? Citing our recent actions. And there's like one viewer, you idiot, Tommy, you idiot, can't you see? Some members mostly of the right of the URDP. There's a right of the URDP. <gasps> Still believe the cooperation with the Hetman Coalition is better than cooperation with the VDR, regardless, the influence of the SHD is, has grown. <laughs> they repeated the text on the <laughs> VDR. Decrying them is too unreliable. Who can fucking follow this, bro? Thank you, Chopper. <laughs> what? Just let me attack people. Oh, I have focus. Um... German way of war, Russian way of war. Ooh, do I want to throw a lot of bodies at a problem? Or do I want to actually make good equipment? I like the uh, Ukrainian armor core. I like that. I like that, bro.
The discontent and misery have finally reached a breaking point. The headman's response... The, the, the headman's response, that of brutality and indifference, it is clear that he must be overthrown for the situation to improve. In a night of violence and chaos, armed VDR militias attack government buildings and military barracks, killing local politicians and freeing their imprisoned comrades. The Directorate of the Ukrainian People's Republic has been declared by Simon Petrulia and other VDR leaders in Rovno, and they have demanded the hetman abdicate. To abdicate. There's a lot of grammar mistakes here. Demanded the hetman abdicate. Yeah, at, yeah, there's grammar mistakes here. <coughs> Allow free and democratic elections and redistribute land to the farmers. To support these demands, the VDR has started to organize the Ukrainian People's Army, which has rapidly taken control over the western countryside as local peasants and militias have joined. I kind of want to fucking play the... It is correct? And they have demanded the headman abdicate. Doesn't have to say to abdicate? Shit, I kind of want to play communists now. But it, it, might, it might turn to another fucking shit show, man. Tommy Cage is mad all the time. You can't form Russia, no. Hamid Ukraine is boring. How do you know that? It came out yesterday. You can't beat Russia if you go communist. <sighs> oh, man. I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna chill, bro. I promised myself to be more chill streamer. I played it already? Hmm. I mean, clearly communism is much more content, man. But it, it might turn into a fucking shit show again. The Poles will choose communism. Come on. Hmm. I made a decision, and you know why? Here we go. There's a guy in chat who says, you can only beat Russia if you don't go communist. You shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that, bro. Oh, you shouldn't have said that, my bro. That is the trigger that made me go communist, man. You want to talk shit? You want to fuck with Tommy K? And I took that personally. Let's go, boy. You want to play games? We play games. Oh, that's a brand new tree. What the hell? Oh man, what is going on? Why can't I... We have taken the video outside. What is happening? Is it because I didn't take their site earlier? I'm now a bit more fucked? I'm using all the swear words. I gotta calm down again. Tommy K, listen to me. Okay, I'm communist. Oh god. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Mm, mm, mm. What? He activated his drop card. The depression has pushed Ukraine to the breaking point. What started as a general strike orchestrated by the old Ukrainian democratic movement has turned to an insurgency. Peasant guerrillas and socialist militias have risen across the country, take advantage of chaos. Total command power, strength of Hetman 75. We need to capture Kiev to defeat the Hetman before the German army intervenes. In 90 days, the Germans come in and f fuck me up. Odessa is oh, I feel like I'm getting wrecked. I can't do much. This doesn't feel good. The revolutionary fervor. Uh, oh, I, I, this is bad. In 1917, Ukraine had high hopes and dreams of independence. Dreams to become a sovereign state after centuries of foreign rule. This independence was to serve as a means of achieving political self-determination and democracy. To allow Ukraine to govern itself rather than be subject of the whims of foreign rulers. I still don't get why I can't take these other two. We have taken the VD odds side not. I don't really get that so much. What? I don't get... I don't understand why I can't take them. I don't. I'm too dumb for that. Okay, civil war. I feel bad. This is not going to be easy. Isn't the middle path pro government? Negotiate my surrender. Ah. Okay, this is if I'm against them. Ah, if I would have chosen the other side, I would have gotten this stuff. Now I get it. Okay. Oh, I 
need to click buttons. Oh, I need to take Kiev. Advance. I like this. I like this. I want to say this. <clears throat> so this civil war. Are you the man from the ghetto? This civil war is not a real Hoi Fo war. It's a political. It's it's a click war. It's a little mini game. I think that's so cool. That is very cool. Wow. Revolution in Kharkov. Oh, my mouse is dying. Sorry. That is so cool. I need to rush Kiev. That's really cool. I very much... That's cool. Military is in chaos. Six stability. Reinforcements from the east. Despite the conservative mentality of the Ukrainian armed forces, fostered by 20 years of political promotions, many soldiers have at least sympathies for the VDR. Mutinies are widespread, and anti hetman leaflets have been distributed in some units. Upper-class officers have been arrested or lynched by the soldiers after receiving orders to fight the VDR peasant militias. In the western countryside, some militias units have disbanded entirely, either through mutiny or full-scale defection. The bulk of the Ukrainian army has been stationed in the east at the Russian border, far away from the center. They are now being transferred to fuck with us. If they arrive, we're done. Oh, dude, this is kind of sick. Marconi, come on, man. Sorry that I'm eating, guys. I just want to finish my food. We're streaming all night. We're streaming all night. So I got to eat. I'm going to stream all night, bro. There's no break today. So let the man eat real quick. I didn't eat, like, anything. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Should be banned for that, bro. Okay, one more bite, then I'm gonna put the food away, okay? And then we focus. Oh, man, you should be banned for that. That was prison food. Oh, God. That looks so German. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looked like a Ninja Turtle shit. <laughs> now we can play the game. Okay. A lot of is happening. In 35 days. Dude, how did I beat this? Oh, this is bad. In 35 days, they get reinforcements. I can't do anything about that. Okay, what? Okay, what? what, what, what I can advance. Block the Eastern Railroad so the reinforcements come later. I like that. This is really cool. That's why Kaiserreich is my favorite mod. The, the events are so deep. It's so cool. They're so good at event design. International aid. Command power. I probably need command power to advance. International aid. So I got this. Peasant militias or revolutionary guards? I would like. You guys know me. I, li I like. Uh, I like uh, quality. Our troops will fight more effectively in rural regions. Oh. Our troops will fight better in industrialized regions. <sighs> Distance yourself from syndicalism. People's Ukrainian army. Um, Ukraine is rather rural. Kiev is... How do you see that again? How do you play before? Where do you see that again? What kind of region it is? Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? How do you... Wait. Huh? 6k hours. It's in the map mode. There's a map mode for that. I never did that. Which one? You have to hover over the building slots. Highly urbanized. Urbanizing region. Urbanizing. That's not rural. But I guess that means rural. <sighs> I'm taking revolutionary gods. We cannot secure a movement by sending in the rebel. A committed and disciplined force. This means quality. We're going to make a real revolutionary guard. That's such an interesting war. Okay, I'm so scared of the recent reinforcements. Let's be active as fuck here. Okay, okay. A bit nervous, man. I probably chose a very, very hard option here, but I like it. I like it, man. Odessa Uprising. Isn't that good for me? 
The Congress of Arel. Uh huh, uh huh, sure. Assault Kiev. Gets the event the gates of Kiev. Ooh. Traitors in the ranks. We have been informed that some more moderate of our allies from the URDP and even USDRP have been conducting secret talks with the Doroshenko government. I want to understand this. I am the VDR, which is not even in here. It, like, these guys in the middle are helping me now or some, something. Currently, only a small circle knows of these negotiations, so the cards are in our hands. We could either publicly reveal what has happened and thoroughly discredit these traitors, which might be very dangerous to them, but serve an example to anyone else, or we could keep this under the table and privately reassure these would be traitors and do our best to win them over. I... I take away the strength of the pro-hetman. I think I'm taking that. In Kaiserek, you should always take what's worse for you. We the Oz Coalition of Democratic Parties in Ukraine. Okay. We're outing these traitors. It looks like it hurts, but it's probably better than the end. This is really interesting right now. Very cool event. I'm blocking the Eastern Railroad. The reinforcements of the East are not coming. Doing guerrilla stuff. I took that I took that region. I need command power really, really bad. I mean, what can I do? Did I do an event for command power? Yeah, international aid. Bombing of Sarni. Oh, he got stronger again. The so-called rebellion has seen its most terrifying day today as 127 people perished in a bombing raid ordered by the Hetman's government. In two waves, German built Dornia D0123 struck multiple tons of ordnance in the southern part of a city, killing a lot of people. Damn. Dude, we're really fighting an overpowered enemy here, man. That's gonna be no joke. I need command power, I think, right now. The syndicalist nations of the West have achieved a great deal in their limited time of existence. So great are their achievements that one can only strive to emulate them. Therefore, we must adapt their policies to the material conditions of Ukraine. I have a weird feeling we choose a very hard path here. Let's go. I'm excited. Let me just eat some sausage. One sec, I'm eating sausage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Odessa, the second largest city in Ukraine, has already been paralyzed by dock worker strikes for weeks. The strikers had erected barricades to central roads, and the Borod Beast organized guards had essentially fortified the port of Odessa and were intensely guarded by the city officials loyal to Kiev. When the news of rebellion in the north arrived to the city, all hell broke loose. The Borod Beasts wanted immediate revolution and total seizure of the city. Their more moderate allies still believing that the Hetman will give up to the pressure. This change? When a mutiny broke out on board of the destroyer Berestaya, which promptly opened fire on army checkpoints erected around the harbor. Ukrainian warship, go fuck yourself. That is not a curse, that was just in the lore. Hours later, the Bodobist had ceased con I just read that. Of the city's infrastructure, such as the radio station and the northern routes of the city. The workers' commune of Odessa is declared by the local leader of the uprising, Oleksandr Kbilch. <coughs> in a gray area between not being officially aligned to the VDR, but fighting against the Hetman's forces. The workers have risen up. Odessa belongs to us. The Hetman loses 10 strength. Beach, beach. Okay, I'm moving. I can't move to Kiev. Why can't I go to Kiev? Once again, I'm strong in non-rural things, but I still don't get what, what is rural and not. I think this is rural. I don't want to fuck up. I don't want to fuck up. Take Kherson. Oh, what is that? Make a revolution in Kharkov. The reinforcements also become uh, less. I would like to do that. I'm doing a revolution in Kharkov. The focus tells you what states. True. Odessa, Kherson, and whatever the hell that other stuff is. So Kherson gives me a little bonus. I'm taking Kherson then. And how about recruitment campaign? I kind of need that. Why would I secure the Polish border? The Reichspark doesn't come close. The Reichspark is getting close, yeah. This is actually really fun. 
advance to Cherashki. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. I should probably do recruitment campaigns. This is really fun, man. What a weird way to do a war. It's so different though. So 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 refreshing. Very cool. You can do both rural and industrial. But I have bonuses on industrial. That's why, you know, link your lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill, chill, chill. Pincer movement, man. Chugging off pincer. Attacking deep behind the river is risky, but it has a chance to cut Kiev off reinforcements. Tommy K. Love. Twenty-nine <sighs> percent chance. Probably depends to his strength. Okay. Thank you, Mike. This is really cool. Whoever designed this is it's very clever. Uh, the strongest message. I make his strength go to my fifteen. Radio allows us to disseminate information. Rally support for a cause. We're, we're doing radio stuff, and I take fifteen strength away. And I should probably. Why would I sec I don't need secure Poland, I think. Not yet. Advance to Vinitsitia. Okay, I'm advancing everywhere. I could I could secure the Polish border, but I'm afraid of not having enough points. Okay, okay. I'm so scared of fucking up. I want to make this work. It's so cool how you stay your old nation. That means all your research stays and stuff. This is very clever. Advance to... Oh, I can now do the encirclement. So the more I fuck him up, the bigger the chance of encircling Kiev. That's right till he has less strength. So there's a chance here. We have to hit a nice chance. Romania joined Belgrad Pact. Oh, they're attacking um, Bulgaria. I'm going to be alone against everyone, by the way. But man, that's what I like. Everyone around us would be our enemy. Everyone. Oh, God. It's going to be great. I mean, last week we, we defended Ukraine. We can do it again. We can do it again! Recruitment campaign. I need uh, command power. I'm advancing to Ekrabrahamla. The rice pact is getting close. I might have to secure Poland. Okay, I I'm gonna take a risky chance. It's now 45%. It's gonna get better in a sec. I now have a 55% chance to encircle Kiev. I'm feeling a safe game. I'm feeling a safe game. It's still 36? Yeah, it is, man. This is cool. Where's that Arabic city? What? Fifty-five is not a bad chance. Would you put your life on fifty-five percent? You have to, you have a fifty-five percent chance to get ten million dollars. Forty-five percent, your dick falls off. Do you take it? I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't take it. I'm very unlucky. It will probably not work. It's a win-win. <laughs> ah, you wouldn't take it, man. You won't take it. Okay. I could assault Kiev. No, no, no. I can actually encircle it. The lower the strength of Hetman, the 55% chance. Should I do it? You guys know me. I, I, I don't like to save scum. I'm not, I'm not a big safe scummer. Delay the Germans. Check how long Poland takes. 30 days. Oh! You're right, you're right. Wait for focus. Ah, wait for focus. You're right, you're right, you're right. But I need to uh, f make sure the Reichspark doesn't come with tanks. Yeah, true. I make it. Yeah, and now it's like 67, I think. If that doesn't hit, if that doesn't hit, chat. If that shit doesn't hit, man. Bold of you to assume Cheddar's used their dicks at all. Randall, shut up. Fucking... I can't cross so much, man. Banned for making me lose once up. There you go. <clears throat> I might pull this off. If that event doesn't hit, man, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna advance. I'm gonna do it. Spanish Civil War. Yeah, German tanks are coming. I got this, I got this. Secure the Polish border. Boom. German tanks cannot come in here so fast. If I... Oh, 0%. 0%. Bro, I got Kiev encircled. I just need 30. I just need 30. Um, Ukrainian people army. Command power. There we go. In 28 days. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. No, it's not good timing. It's not good timing. It's not good timing. I should have 30. I should have 30. It's gonna be fine. 
I need to now... Oh, did I fuck up? I didn't fuck up. Okay, I might fuck up. I might have fucked up. I shouldn't have taken Alexander Vosk. I need 30 before the reinforcements arrive, which will totally not happen. Oh, that is bad, bro. Wait, I think 20 days left? No, it... No, I think I can make it. If suddenly I have time. I don't understand. I have time. I have time. No, no, it takes 30 days. No, it's instant. Is it? Oh, they... Oh, God. They're getting reinforcements. Ah! They're getting reinforcements! Ah! -ha! Come on, focus. I need you. It's so over. Imagine Tommy gets nuked right now. Imagine an airplane flies into Tommy's room and kills him. Assault is 18 days. Fuck the reinforcements. I'm gonna shit on them. We got this. We got this, man. We got this. You shouldn't take that final decision to take Alex Rambala. Assault! To Kiev! Okay, don't quote me on that, guys. <clears throat> uh, German way of war. Oh, God. His strength goes up by 15, and he gets a counterattack. Oh, no, that is not good, man. Oh, that is not good. Let's see what happens. Reinforcements have arrived from the Russian border. It's so clever to have a civil war play out like this. I, I think that's a very cool idea. That's why Kaiserreich is so good. They're so... Uh, so... Um, they design so much cool stuff. Thank you. Felicitas. Felicita. Defend the crossing. I got this. I got this. So they're attacking me over here, but I'm taking Kiev. Nine days. We got this. Kiev is down. Pause the game. I gotta go to the bathroom. I will do it, but we're such an asshole before. Battle of Kaniv. General Prizovsky took the bait, but his troops detected at the building at Kaniv, they decided to move in, seeking to defeat the rebels on the battlefield, even from a disadvantaged position. The town has been fortified, and our meager artillery is stationed on the other side of the Dnipro, with forward observers controlling the battlefield from Chernesha Hora. With such well-planned defense of the first assault by his forces failed, the riverside became a bloody graveyard. Only when our artillery ran out of shells did our defense start to crumble. Russia and Ukraine, it's all about artillery shells. We could try to retreat, hopefully having brought time. We should retreat. I'm gonna make them retreat. I decide that. I don't want them to die. In four days, we have Kiev. I can actually just take it back. I don't need that right now. Oh, Germany's coming. I need to finish this right now. I clicked it. Germany in 15 days. The gates of Kiev. The people's armies at the gates of the capital. Kiev has been under martial law for weeks and strikes have been suppressed bloodily. Many of the rebels early in the uprising fled the city and they have now linked up with the first corps of the people's army, commanded by Alexander Udovchenko. With a bold plan to seize the capital and capture the hetman, ending the revolution once and for all. The cider is real. Kiss on the nutsack, if you're over 18, that is. Kiev is a formidable target. Its barricaded streets will make advance slow and bloody, and the sheer size of the city will give the defenders room to play with time. Thanks to many supporters from the city, we have good intel on our enemy. General Leonid Shpagla, commander of the Kiev garrison, is politically reliable, but a rather underwhelming military mind. His forces are stretched out, weakened by defections and mutinies. Not to mention, there is great hostility from population. They have plenty of heavy weapons, they have fortified the city, and bridges over the river. It could be possible to take the garrison by surprise, and trust that the overstretched pro hetman's forces will collapse with a sufficient bolt strike straight into the heart of the city. However, if the trust fails, and we get bogged down, we're fucked. A more ambitious plan would be a flanking maneuver, where we advance from the city suburbs to the Dnipro and advance to the city center from three directions. Zerg Rush. It's Russia after all. It's Eastern Europe. It's Ukraine. It failed?
The Germans arrive. <sighs> Battle of Kiev. Oh, we took it! We took Kiev! I took Kiev! What? What happened? Oh, I took Kiev! I took... Oh! The guns fall silent. In the waning hours of the evening, representatives of the government still barricaded in pockets of Eastern Kiev met Simon Petilia on the historic Parallel Bridge to sign the ceasefire bring the world order. During the chaos, Edmund scouted it, evacuated himself and his family to a small airfield outside of the city, protected by the men from Sergio Gal Division. Declaring his abdication of the cabinet, he then made a brief historic address to the radio of the People's Republic of Ukraine that we are going to play now. I, the hetman of Ukraine, for 18 and a half years, put all my strength into this country. God did not give me the strength to cope in this task. Cope in the chat, cope in the chat. Now, in view of conditions that have developed, I give up. I'm out, bitches. The Ottoman minister have assumed the rights of the government, but made clear his intentions to immediately start the years with the victories of the earth. As the dust settles, the rebels and the soldiers lay down their arms. What was once a fantasy of dreamers is reality. Ukraine will bask in liberty. Sasha Nevrana Ukraine Islava Ivolia. A bunch of dudes join the state. The USB USDRP becomes the ruling party. We become the Ukrainians, People's Republic, and Alexander Odivchenko takes over. I'm blue guys i'm blue and there he is the crazy he did it man he did it bitch is a female dog he did it he did it and he is ta taking over the army let's go he's taking over the army even though this guy's better but he's defensive no he is the main field marshal of the ukrainian ukrainians People army. Now, how do you write that? Okay. Ukrainians, people army. The UPA. Daddy, I want to join the UPA. Yes, son, you should. Welcome to Ukraine. Now I have to fight everyone around me. That is that is not. I'm still a German puppet. Let's see what happens now. An asshole is your mama's favorite snack. It's still a swear word. Proclaiming him. Before the nation's very eyes, the order that lasted for nearly two decades came crashing down. Its place taken by a government many had thought will never return. As revolutionaries celebrated throughout the land and as the Hetman's forces laid down their arms, the Ukrainian people will find themselves on the cusp of a brand new age. Thousands had gathered in front of the central ho council house in Kiev, where Pet Petliura, Petliura was set to give a historical address. Despite all of his attempts, the Hetman could not break our unshakable belief in a future where we will no longer be bound to chains. The former government tried to silence our call to freedom, informed with all its might against the unstoppable revolutionary tide. And yet, in spite of it all, the Republican cause prevailed. It is finally time to right the injustice committed to our ruler. I see one better declare the Ukrainian People's Republic. Thank you, Sebastian. Let's let's celebrate with Twitch Primes. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. First and two, you want to see you, man. The announcement will be met with cheers from the crowd. Woo! By noon, the entire country had heard the news. The People's Republic, it is a thing. Petliura will assume temporary leadership of the newly declared government until elections could be hold. We're now a democracy. Oh man, we're gonna get killed. We're gonna get killed. You want drugs? Why are you so happy while playing Hoi? I'm sorry that after months of depression on the stream, I'm trying to be fucking good on the stream again, okay? You got. So, uh, yeah, we're playing. We're just having fun, man. It's so hot in here, man. I need to get an AC. So, anyway, let's go back. So, I have this focus tree now. Oh, all the other trees are deleted. That's cool. German demands economic. Ooh. Now, stuff gets interesting. 
The starting point of the negotiations has been surprisingly conciliatory. Berlin requires us to remain a middle Europa member with all the same treaties in place, which admittedly were one of the better things the Skoro administration had negotiated. However, this includes granting German businesses equal rights to Ukrainian ones. I'm countering them. Oof. I'm telling Germany to suck my dick. That's probably not good. Come on, Germany. Let's take a better... Come on, hey. The negotiator, the negotiator. Come on, Germany. We got, we're being friends, right? The socialist bloc is disbanding. We're now a different party. Ukrainska Social Demokratia Rubichania Partia. Okay. Okay. Remember to preload Diablo 4. I will not play Diablo 4. I decided. I have too much stuff going on on the stream. Zomboid and World of Warcraft are. Nah, I know they have time for World of Diablo. Revolutionary fervor is gone. Let's build this country. We built this. Germany ignored our counter proposal. Our negotiations did not manage to gain any chance. The Germans gave us some token concessions, but they were breadcrumbs. If we sign it, it's not going to look very good home. But we could ask the Austrians to be our friends. I'm fucking up, guys. Oh, I got it! Oh, I'm an Austrian puppet now? But he gives me good trade deals. After it became clear that German-Ukrainian treaty was impossible, the three powers started a new round of negotiations. A compromise was that the Austrians sought to balance the equations of their own gain. Ukraine will be a military ally to Aust Austria, but remain in middle Europa. However, here it comes. The economic part is complex, going for everything from foreign citizens' rights to conduct business in Ukraine on equal ground to the locals. So I, 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 I did better here for my economy. The conditions were way milder than that will Germany would have done to us. That's huge. I became a Hungarian now. Mm, that changes a lot of things. That was a good deal for me. Minor economic privileges. Land reform and industrialization start beginning. Oh, here comes Kaiserreich. As the state finally recovers from Black Monday, we can now begin our great land reform and industrialization. Throughout its existence, the Hetman Nate consistently failed to deliver its promises on reforming this country. You unlock land reform decisions. You have to complete the land reform, you have to complete the socialization for the millions of people that reside in the Ukraine fields. The land is their livelihood. Failing to deliver on our promises is going to make radical forces take over. Wait, am I not radical? Oh, God. Okay, what? Yeah, imagine having PP, bro. What? Oh, I talk. What? Welcome to Kaiserreich. I love this. I have 730 days to land reform, and I have 700... Ay, ay, ay. Take a German loan. Ah! Ah! Ah. ah, Is there PP focuses? Please tell me. I dear need PP. Okay, good. Oof, that's gonna be interesting. The music's pretty bad. I'm sorry, okay. I'm sorry, Katie Luca. No, who said that? No, no, no. Who said the music is bad? This guy. Five gifted subs that this guy has under 200 messages. So let's put let's put work count to like fifty, okay? There we go, fifty. Anyway, so ultimately the core reason for the 1946 uprising was the widespread bitterness of peasants over unequal land ownership. Although the peasants are the heart of the Ukrainian nation, they often toil on fields owned by the landed elite, barely able to provide for their families. The elite, on the other hand, are reluctant to give up their power. The exacerbate rural poverty or production methods are often primitive compared to those of peasantry in more Western countries. You need 90 score to get the best spirit out of this. Any extra score is converted into stability. So the better I do here, the better the focus is I get later. Ukraine is heavily agrarian in nature with little industry, while our grain market can be healthy and we are lagging behind other nations in the world and will have to enter into some form of industrialization to ensure continued economic survival. Due to the lack of investment and to the crypt nature of the factories we inherit from Russia, we will have to carefully structure our industrialization program. We need 90 score for the best spirit. I want to get both the best spirits. Do you like to rap? I'm a crazy rapper. Have you ever seen my streams, man? This is really cool. That's why I play Kazurek. I feel like taking the German loans, because this seems like I'm in time trouble. <sighs> While we remain a firm part of the Middle European economic bloc, assistance from German business giant has unfortunately been largely curtailed following our desire for fair economic relationships. Fortunately, Austrian businesses, professionals, are more willing to engage with us in sectors. 
I lose social democracy, which is me, right? Oh, I lose 5% power. Ugh. If I take a loan. They're very good if you're the headman. I gotta take German loan, don't I? That really killed my party a bit. I had to take it, right? I had to take it. Is it ticking down? Seven days. Did you want to be the radical sorcerer for a hot game? No, I just want to... No, I... this is hard enough. And I don't like stuff like this. Like you're saying I should fail this on purpose to get super communist. I don't want to do that. I don't want to... I don't like failing stuff on purpose. That's really not my style. Okay, let's get really get a lot of PP now. Zomboid is in 1 hour 20 minutes. The new constitution. Let's read that in, in a sec. Bring the army in line. For stability, army XP, and 75 PP. The fate of General Prizovsky. Uh, we may have secured victory over the Hetman's forces, but we still have a long way to go before authority is restored. Chaos not only still reigns in the countryside, but among the ranks of our military as well. If we want to return to normal, we gotta make the army be better. Constitution. At the end of this event chain, we'll begin a spirit, the effects of which will depend on your choices. <laughs> on the 29th of April, 1918, the Central Rada approved the Constitution of the People's Republic. The document, slated to create a parliamentary republic which guaranteed equal rights for every citizen, ultimately lasted only a few hours. The very same day, the Hetman's group will see the Constitution swiftly be replaced by uh, one former suited to Skoro Patiski's liking. And yet those present at the day it was signed into law never abandoned their ideals. Democracy, self-autonomy, independence, they will all be the law of this new land. It would seem that day is almost at hand. As the newly formed Constitutional Committee convenes in the Central Council House to begin the process of restoring the Republican Constitution. Over the next few weeks we will thoroughly explain, uh, examine the legislation amending it where necessary. Where are many continuous points in the nearly 20-year-old document, which will no doubt cause a stir- We're building constitution. Okay. I'm watching from Pakistan, man. Nice, man. Cool. Cool. Okay, we're building constitution. We have a lot to do, man. Holy crap. We have a lot to do. You get syndicalist if you fail land reform as so social democrats. You get a coup in 39. Okay, thank you for the spoilers. Voting rights for convicted criminals. Bro, what would you say in real life? As the Constitutional Committee mulls over the soon-to-be-restored Republic Constitution, a certain clause has become a topic of discussion. Article 17, which states, A citizen of the Ukrainian People's Republic may not be restricted in the rights of speech, press, religion, organization, or strike as long as he does not volatile the provisions of criminal law. A lot of no's. A lot of no's. They deserve to vote. Specifically, it is in the end of this sentence that the caused much debate many members of the committee believe that it's unjust to take away the basic rights for criminals what will i do in real life uh i believe you should let criminals vote uh a criminal system in a country has a goal and that is uh, rehabilitation just because someone did something bad when they were 15 or 18 or 20 it doesn't mean they're fucked for life i believe in rehabilitation i don't think you should take away voting rights for criminals there's much more fucked up people that vote in, in a country, and... Yeah, uh, um... So which one is, uh, pro? The second one, right? Uh, melts over the soon be restored product, and certain clauses become a topic. The first one, it also gives the best stability, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you should do that. <clears throat> the only people that shouldn't be allowed to vote is people that don't pay taxes, right? <clears throat> Internal administrative divisions. Old people shouldn't be allowed to vote? That is actually, yeah, yeah. The next contentious issue of the Constitution Committee was to be the administrative division of Ukraine. Before the overthrow of the People's Republic 20 years ago, a law was passed determining that the administrative division of the state, dividing it between 32 Zemlias lands, which will serve as electoral district of the Ukrainian National Assembly and the decentralizing building block around which public... Is anyone still listening to this sentence, man? They always go a bit too crazy with this writing. This proposal was based on Khshkhathu's ideas, which proposed that the lands were to hold around a million people each. Wow, that's so weird. If there's too many people, you go somewhere else? 
and were to suffice for the independent establishment of sanitary roads, land, industrial, and cultural affairs, as well as blah, blah, blah. However, upon the coup, the divisions were changed, resembling the governorates of the old Russian Empire. Many have argued that Sgoro administration did not adequately represent the new order. And oh my fucking god, man. So, oh god. This one is good. The committee agrees to redraw the divisions? Or we're gonna make a moderate compromise? This one destroys my enemies, but it takes away PP, which I cannot handle right now. I'm gonna make a moderate. I need PP. I need to do my reforms, man. There's no way. Kaiser Reich is becoming TNO. Let's make constitution. Looks like though making decisions for more PP are very clever here, man. Important question. Do you speak s um Daniel, your name is Yuri, not Daniel, right? Is your name Yuri? Cause you're retarded. I destroyed you. You you're never allowed to speak in chat again. Thank you. Um and the constitution by the people for the people, 15% stability. Okay. Stability needs to go up a bit. I need that. It's my favorite one. I like the Yuli one. <clears throat> the German notes are coming. General election? Election is now in progress. I don't know what the hell. Election in progress. What do I do about that? Leading party, radical democrats. How do I play with this? We can choose a leader. Man, what is going on? The German loan is coming in 51 days. Limiting every city's woman and people, wouldn't that help the rent rates? That that is sounds very unfree that you tell a citizen where you can live. That's not very democratic and free, is it? American Civil War's happening. It's only 47 February and so much already happened. I like that so much. In search of a common platform. Do you want 15 PP or do you want to be more syndicalist? I don't. No, I want to go for full PP because I need the I need to fix the reform. It's the ultimate important thing to me right now. Build a level one railway to Kiev. Industrial score goes up by three. Is there important decisions you should take first, like something that gives you more PP? So this is just. Yeah, yeah. I sh you should. You need to be clever here. You should take stuff that ends up in making you more PP, because you need to skyrocket in PP. It doesn't make sense to take this railway. That would not be clever. And fuck the Sifts, you don't want that. You need political power. Badly. This is normal Kaiserreich, man. This is actual language from Indonesia, look it up. No. No, I'm not. These ones make a lot of sense. To get the PP, man. PP is everything. As you guys know in real life. Thomas K is a Russian... Oh my god, man. What's wrong with you? The fate of the general. He could be a private citizen. Or we keep him. I don't want a stability. He is gonna get retired. I got PP and I can do my first reform. So this one here. Um, Yeah, in the end, I just... 37 PP. Okay. I get PP. I get a lot of PP. Small farmer subsidies. Let's go. I need to skyrocket my PP. I need this focus. The fate of our old leader, fading hetmanate. I get weaker stability and the alternate democrats and uh, paternal autocrats get weaker. We gotta figure out what to do with the old man. I shall also get my constitution a sec, which hopefully gives me PP. I wanna get perfect, um, perfect reforms. I wanna try that. A paratrooper still the meta. I'm gonna do something real quick off stream. I don't want you to see this guys. I wanna do something real quick. I need to do something off stream. Okay, sorry. We're back. 
Okay, 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 okay. So now we're in the... Price rack is kind of always the same. The country is unstable. Civil war, we built the country. That's that's pretty much Kazarek. Yeah, but we're trying to get the PP. You are DP on the scrutiny. Radical Democrats gain popularity. I am in the Radical Democrats. Am I not? No, I'm the Social Democrats. What the fuck is a Radical Democrat? I don't know what the fuck this game is, man. What? The you are these guys are Radical Democrats. They under I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's something about the election or something. Oh, they're tight now. Do I want social or radical democrats? I don't know. I have no clue what I'm doing with this. Finland joined Reichspakt. Okay. Orange and yellow. I think so, yeah. Orange and, uh, orange and yellow. N no. No, these two are fighting. A lot of socialists in the country. You want social. Okay, we'll see what happens. Turkestan goes to war with the Kumul. Have the LON in power. Why are you so weird? Why are you so weird, man? The people are so awkward. Five gifted under under 50 messages. Knew it, knew it. I know you guys so well. People that are this stupid have the lunar power and then his brain says, I'm gonna write it again, and then I'm gonna write it again. Like, mate, you are straight up. You should be on Twitch, man. It's not for you, bro. Go back to school, okay? It's tomorrow. Thank you, Spartan, for the five. Oh, you took the... You took the... You, hey, actually paying up. Actually paying up. Thank you, Spartan. Thank you very much for the five, bro. He actually uh, kept the gamble on. <laughs> I got fired today, it sucks. F in the chat, for Schluss, please, in the chat. F in the chat, F in the chat. So I finished industry, it's time for Odyssey oh, Artillery 2. See it as an opportunity, man. Let me do it. I got promoted on Monday. Hey, can we get an A in the chat for him? Can we get an A for a random guy from the hood? Or W. Oh, W. That's actually... Yeah, you need to do a W. That's true. I was to boom with that. So what is the fate of the old leader? Make a demand. Thank you, uh, Prince of Wales. Tables have turned. The former hetman and his cronies escaped to Berlin before justice could catch them and are now organizing the Ukrainian national government in exile. They have petitioned the Kaiser to support them, though with poor results thus far. It's hard to believe that Skoro could be much of a threat to us anymore. But then again, he is guilty of countless crimes. Um, we could request Germany to extradite him. Though this might put the German government into an awkward position. Fuck it. Give him to me. Give him to me. I want the guy. I need the guy. Okay, anything that's PP. 50 PP. Yeah, I need to just do PP. Oh, I get more land reform. They return land to tenant farmers. I need PP though, man. Clamp down on bureaucratic corruption. Political power. Thank you, Freddy. How you doing? How you doing? I got fired my first day of work. Well, what did you do, man? Did you jerk off on the fucking table? What are you? What the hell? Thank you, Freddy. Man, nineteen months. Let's Been get these reforms. The Keep up the great work. The question of land reform. I'm. I'm going social democrats. I'm going social democrats. Yeah, I want to be social democrat. I kind of want to do that. I don't want to be crazy. Communist peasants. Yeah, if you have a job, just quit and play with four. Yeah, that's how I made a living. Come on, guys. We should watch the UK video. We should watch the UK video in a sec. Yeah, we I'm gonna call it in a sec. Even though I should stream with four, man. I like how Maddie is killing my stream. But I wanna watch the UK video, sure. Speculation with subsidies. Do you want land or industry reform? As I'm focusing a lot on the land reform and do industry later, I wanna get industry score first. Interesting. 50 PP? Don't touch that. Does anything here give PP? You only look for PP, man. Yeah, none of this gives PP, so I take it. It's not clever. You gotta be clever. The guys like devs, they're not dumb. They always fuck with your brain a bit. You gotta take the PP decisions first. To, to uh, exponentially grow. Me, when I play violent with Risa May while wearing a Tommy K hoodie. 
he will stay in Germany. Oh, oh, Germany's outraged by me. Ooh. So here we go. This is PP gain. That's why I take it. Nice. I need to put every reform to 90 or above. That's the goal. Did the German uh, loan arrive? It did arrive. PP is coming in. Let's go. There's also elections going on. A lot is going on. They're not outraged. We outraged on them. Oh. Oh, true. Oh, man. Oh, hey. Hashtag. Thank you. Gianduca. Mille grazie, signore. Oh, una acqua naturale. I think the music is too loud. I think your face is too goddamn round. Official UK government streamer. What is chat talking about? Nobody knows. Okay, we're clamping down on bureaucratic corruption. We no longer have austerity measures. I don't I don't even know what that is. Tapping into the trade unions. Again, I, I will go social democrat. I like that. I like that path. I want to stay with that. No problem. A lot of PP is going to hit soon. Send all volunteers to Kosovo. Nobody wants to be in Serbia. Not even in video games. Price controls for wheat? I need the PP. I'm going to kill my stability bit. I need... Every decision for PP is to be taken. Why can't I take this? You only can have two rent reforms at once. Ooh. So now I go industrialization, huh? I'm taking German loans again. You can only do that two times. It kills my social democracy, though. Careful. Uh, there was a SIF building thing. This one here. I need that. Central industrial zone. Massive industry. Yeah, central industrial zone. Huge. Don't do railways. The devs are not stupid. They want you to do this in a certain way. Uh, I destroy national populism and turn autocrats for 75 PP. Yes, I'm in. Thank you, peep. Two and a half years, it's been a ride. Does anyone remember Two and a Half Men? Back in the day, that was a huge TV show. I only have 4% support, but I'm winning the election. It's a bit weird. Two and a Half Men was so big back in the day. No one talks about it anymore. It wasn't really a show that was very deep, right? But back in the day, man, it was a big show. I'm... I need a bit more social, uh, I need a bit more popularity back, man, to be real here. I don't want to lose PP, there's no way. But that's our dockyards. Sif and, uh, fuel. BASF! Oh, that's actually a real drum company in real life. Man, man, manly, man, man, man. It was a good show, man. It was a good show. Hey, Alan, just fucked your wife. Man. <laughs> I mean, two and a half men didn't age very well, right? It's ultra sexist. And it's... he's Charlie Sheen is not a very good role model. He's kind of like an alcoholic depressed guy. But everybody fucking loved him for that. Um, it's time to get into the tanks. No, I need the weapons. Let's get the Gulamet Maxima Vashiki Minyomet. History of Ukrainian Rus, plus 10 uh, PP. A anything PP, I'm in, man. I'm like a non subs mom. Oh! Bah! You know what? No, 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 no. Listen, you know what the dumbest thing was about 2.0 men? That he didn't want it, Rose. Imagine a girl like Rose Sims for in real life. Bro, you marry her and have a nice life. The dumbest thing 2.0 man is that he didn't want Rose. That was... Come on, man. Rose was great. Oh, the radicals are going a bit more radical here, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spot on. True. She was also rich as... Bro, she glued his balls to his legs. He deserved it. Like, I remember watching Drake and Josh. And there was this scene where two golf girls in Drake's school are annoying him. And the narrative of the episode is, uh, these golf girls are annoying me. Please go away. You guys are annoying. What? Imagine in real life, two golf girls annoy you in class, man. You're gonna coom under the table. Come on. What are these writers doing, man? Nickelodeon writers, man. They need sexy little underage girls. That's what makes them hard. <clears throat> Where pee pee? Where pee pee? Remember Spencer from iCarly. Distillery boom. 
Industrial score? I don't want to destroy my social democrats. Okay, everybody's getting drunk. I mean, we're in Eastern Europe. Golf girls are overrated. Oh, left click, 10 minute ban. There you go. Bruh. Local elections results, sudden Borobist. What the fuck? They're voting for Borat now? What are you talking about, Borat? What? Syndicalist revolution in Switzerland. So you're into golf girls? Everyone is into golf girls. What are you. The hell is wrong with you? Cheating the system. I lose two land reform. Switzerland joined the communists. This is gonna be interesting. I still have a lot of time. I still have a lot of time. During the Austro-Hungarian Ausgleich, the Austrians promised autonomous state of the empire that the minorities of Transleifania will also receive autonomy. The Hungarians, however, were unwilling to do that. Stuff is happening. Go, Cindy. How about you go to the gym? Roasted. Um, okay, the wrong load to recovery. Unfinished revolution. Uh, our constitution guarantees national and personal autonomy to every citizen residing on land. All people, be they Russian, Polish, or Jewish, enjoy equal rights. Let's go. And increase the budget. No, I don't need that. I don't need that. You can only have two things at all times. Let's let's keep some PP in the back. Let's not be stupid. The producer was the Schneider guy who did I Call and Josh and Sam and Cat. He did some creep. I know, I do. I know. Everybody knows. Come on. Pragmatism versus radicalism. Uh, this one. I want to. There's like a fight right now between communists and normal democracy. And I want to go democracy. But tell me about this. Yeah. Canada invokes War Measure Act. Tractors, tractors, tractors. I'm doing PP. Every time PP decision. Every time. Hungarian Revolution. Oh! Oh! Hungary! It's not looking good, boy. Oh, no. That does not look good for our boy. No. What do you mean? Oh, he ain't doing good, man. So, uh, relief come... No, which one was it? Oh, I'm a different... Ah, I'm a different country now. I have different shit. Mm. The 5% army XP is not even that good. This stuff is not even that interesting right now. And they don't give any army XP. These guys do. I can actually take them in a second. Thank you, CSK, bro. CSK sounds like an old 90s band that does punk rock. I had this weird... I, do you guys have that too? I have these weird things. Where sometimes I get into weird YouTube... Thingies. Uh, how to explain Yesterday, I was watching a lot of Kurt Cobain stuff. I, randomly. There was no indication. I just randomly watched one hour of Kurt Cobain. And how he was uh, fucked up and how he like died and shit. And just randomly. Like Dankus videos. Oh, I watch that when I want to fall asleep and see boring content, yeah. Sometimes you just get into weird rabbit holes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brewing is gone. Belgian. Belgium now became communist. So I should be able to take these guys. And, wait, wasn't it 20? Wait, wasn't there a guy a second ago I could take? I could swear. I can't take... Okay, wait a sec. No, 20, 20, 20. Sometimes I watch Tommy K debating about Joe Rogan instead of doing coke. It is the life, man. It is the life. I don't think Hungary is doing very well. Bulgaria also. Big war. People are fighting. Is Canada still on the crown? I mean, obviously. What do you think? They're always the crown in Kaiser Rake. Training the marshes. That sounds good. Oof. I am not giving away 40 PP. Nope. PP is my life. My bread and butter is my bread and butter. Okay, I need... Uh, who am I taking? Entrenchment. Submarines. Combined arms. Concealment. Cavalry. Army regrouping. Hmm. The best guy. Oh, Alter, wow. Oh, you need to be a national populist. You get 10% breakthrough. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, hmm. Should wait for infantry specialist. Yeah. No. No, I wanted to actually get the army XP guy. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Dude, come on. Um, army offense. Army offense, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I need to uh, switch over to the uh, UK video. Let's do one more focus after this, and then let's call it from day. There's an advisor who gives like 10 resource speed. Nice. That's, that's I respect Court Cobain for his views at the time. I don't even know. There's this uh, conspiracy theory, right? That Kurt Nilov killed Kurt Cobain because they investigated her house when he killed himself. And there was like lawyers and they were about to get divorced and she wanted like to take all his money and shit. But I don't, I don't think that happened. I think she was just lucky he killed himself because he was just, I mean, it makes sense. If you follow him right, he was so addicted to her heroin. He was so fucked in his head. I don't think she did anything there. I, sw I swear so much, man, that that sub count thing is just not gonna work. I'm gonna give 50 and then we're good. Plus five HP means minus 5% losses in equipment combined with attempts to break through makes your division lose 40% less equipment. I don't think that's how that works. No, that's not true. Don't ask me how I calculated that. Swedish army or martial law? Hungary is not gonna be free anytime soon. I do not think so. Nope. I don't think Hungary is gonna go free. When does Russia start this war? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we gotta watch the UK video. Already giving up counting the swear words. Yes. Yes. I mean, you guys didn't count. It's not my fault. Restoration of the Jewish Council. Congratulations, Mr. Goldman. Mr. Goldman. And the long road to recovery. Let's go. Uh, how, what do you do about the church? Uh, I want to be stable. I'm going to be pro-church. People love that. And Hungary is now no longer Hungary. Okay. It's around 350. But I'm trying to raise awareness for my brain to 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 swear less. It's 50 gifted. Let's let's just get it out of the way. Let's just get out of the way. I I'm swearing way too much. It's gonna be 50 gifted. I deserve it. I'm effing up. Uh Bam. Yeah, 50, 50. Bam, yeah, 50. This month I gifted the most most subs ever in my career, man. Well, we gotta inflate the sub count somehow. Also for all the Zomboid viewers, tonight's Zomboid stream starts with 75. 75 in, in the pot. We have 75 in the pot tonight for Zomboid. Okay. Venice is rising up. Everybody's rising up. Okay, okay. Wait, you swear we get subs? There you go, man. Again, these are the best. I only have 11 score. There you go. I need PP so bad. I might almost not take a focus soon. Uh, there should be a follow-up for... We're going to see in a sec. Okay, they're all not takeable. Oh, it depends who wins the election. So my focus tree gets even smaller. In 10 days, we have the election. And I get the social democratic fighters till the end. This is like if you go hardcore. Okay, that's actually sick. Oh, that's actually sick. You attack the entire world. Okay, that's, that's cool. That's actually really cool. We're not doing that, but you can attack the entire world. I think I'm doing this one. No, I'm doing this one? I actually don't know. We will see what I'm doing. Did you play Diablo? I've not played Diablo. I don't have time. I would love to play it, but I'd rather play World of Warcraft. And I think nobody will watch Diablo anyway with the ginger. Man, I like Kaiser Rake. There's always something happening. Can anyone join Zomboid? No. And you guys should not text me this one. Can I join Zomboid? No. Go away. Go away. Okay, the election is done in three days. And after the election, we call it. After election, we call it. I need 90 points, but I only have two things left. I don't get that one. The election ended. And the winner is the social liberals. What? No, Social Democrats. I stayed with the Social Democrats, which have won it. And Isaac Masepa has won. Hey, he built SIFs. 20 monthly population and 5 PP gain. Welcome, Isaac. And I unlocked a new tree, which is not the biggest tree. Okay, cool. I also get score here, but no PP. I need PP, man. You gotta put... You gotta give me PP, man. Thank you, Mr. Manny. Thank you, Jimmy. Cool. No comp compromises about what? What? We already don't watch your WoW, so we will watch your Diablo. Yeah, that's why. I can just stay with WoW. I, I love WoW. I love World of Warcraft. You're a Western puppet. I love World of Warcraft, man. I love it. What is that? Concede to the opposition. What? What is that now? The 1937 election forced us to make compromises, promises, and to coalesce with another party. 
My, our coalition might collapse. Oh, what? You have to introduce worker self-management and prosperity under state control, or you get effed. That's over here. I can do that, sure. I can do that. No problem. That's so cool. I need to do stuff for my coalition partners. That's so deep. Damn. That's really cool. <clears throat> I really hope I can get good reforms. I'm a bit scared. Meine Tochter fragt, warum dann da ein Pipi saßt. Da fragt doch mal, also warum guckt denn deine Tochter so was hier überhaupt? Pass mal auf, du, das ist ja 18 plus Content. Das kannst du nicht machen, mein Bester. Da muss, also komm, deine Tochter, die sollte mal fragen, warum der Papa kein Subscriber ist. Das muss er mal fragen. Can you please help me to tape the window? Aaron cannot sleep, it's too uh, much light in the room. I'm coming, let me just call this right now. Um... Oh god, hey, uh, I take PP. I take PP. I gotta call it here. Let's take a break. Thank you, Block. Um, that was fun. I'm gonna play much more tomorrow, 100%. The, the hot face.